proving that you have a bigger brain than your opponent. Because it was paved by bloodshed. Fucking crushed it. Are you kidding me? But then I came to realize a crucial mistake. If I keep origin audio. <laughs> A few months ago, I played in an official Genshin TCG tournament, and it might as well have never happened because I didn't win. Now, as responsible adults, you would just let it go, bite back your emotions, and let bygones be bygones. And I am a responsible adult, mind you. I, I pay my taxes, I conform to society, all that adult stuff. But I'm petty with a terrible personality, I lost and I felt like shit, so I went ahead and wrote a song about it. Never punish, but maybe I'll be Allow me to introduce you to Great Baby Re wh Who the fuck? What? Allow me to introduce you to Senna Breeze, or otherwise known as Sen. Sen and I met at the tournament because we're both top 8 finalists. Sen does some ASMR content here on YouTube, as you can see. But a look at his older videos, and you see that he is, in fact, a musician. What a coincidence! So am I! And you know what else is a coincidence? Sen wasn't even supposed to be there in the first place. Okay, story time. For that tournament, I believe there was over 100 players who played in the preliminary round. It was a single elimination bracket all the way through and the 8 players who win their way to the top go to LA and do playoffs. At the round of 16, the final round before deciding the top 8 players, Sen lost here. Yep, you heard that right. Normally Sen wouldn't have made it, but by what miracle did Sen transcend the RNG and showed up at the tournament? <laughs> His opponent who beat him was like, Bro, I, I won and now I have to go to LA? God, bro, I just want a game at home and not shower and not do anything. Bro, you earned this opportunity and you don't go? You have a chance to experience an eSports tournament that not many people get to do? God, don't you know how cool that is? Okay, jokes aside, I'm, I'm sure they have their reasons. And so Sen made it to top 8. <laughs> But there's another part to the story, a more sinister part. The part about how I got to top 8, and let's just say it was not clean, because it was paved by bloodshed. I technically was not supposed to be there either, but it's not relevant right now, so stick around until after this song if you're curious about it. So that's the whole string of RNG and chance and coincidence that brought Sen and I together, and it's kind of amazing. It's about as amazing or even more amazing than the chance of you being born. Okay, tangent over. God, rip my retention rate. Now the meeting of Sen and I is very important. It's obvious by now that I uh, tickle a few strings. But before I'm a bassist, I'm a composer. So I have a decent understanding of how a lot of instruments work. But my one weakness, my Achilles heel, so to speak, is vocals. I do not sing, and until very recently, I cringe at the sound of my own voice. But if you watch Sam's latest video at the time of this recording, That's it for the concert. I hope wait, wait, no, before that. Got me singing about things from a science class. But in addition to that, Hmm. It's a bit unpolished, but I dare say it's pretty good, mate. I found it. The final piece of the puzzle. With this, the world will know my name. And the rest was history. If only it was that simple. It all started the night of the tournament. After final matches are over, we all went for K-BBQ and it was an overall net positive experience despite my loss. Alas, come time when the festivity must end and we all return to our hotel rooms. All alone, my ego took over my train of thoughts, and the salt came out. I remember it was a mix of emotions because despite all the saltiness, I spent time with all the finalists, like as real human beings, and as far as I could tell, my opponent was an all-around alright person. <laughs> but that doesn't stop the salt. So yeah, it's, it's okay. Kinda, kinda salty, but like, you know, or process of bro, so. The childish side in me, the ego is kinda mad, but you know, what can I do? Yeah, I was like, I was like okay, like yesterday, like I was like really happy, and then like later I was like, I started getting slightly salty, and I was like, I know, it happens to all of us, I mean, none of us wants to lose. Yeah, I won the first two games, I was like, it's gonna be easy, I was gonna do one more game out of the next three, and then I lost all three, you know, so I was like, yeah, like I don't even want to watch the stream, the last three games. I'm, I'm not gonna go back and watch it, actually no, I have to, because I have to edit in some clips. So I was humming this melody while walking around the hotel room to drown out my sorrow. La, 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 la. La, 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 
At this point, I was already dead set on writing a song about it, and I was scheming of how to get sent into it. And the lyrics I had in mind at the time, I think went something like, You fucking piece of shit, you won cause I the road. But I decided to stop there because otherwise it would turn into a mermaid sister cover. And when we all got home, while everybody is cooking up some new saucy TCG decks, I was cooking up a backing track. Hey, hey, yo, Sam, so you know how we both lost in, in the tournament? Yeah, uh, so I wrote a song about it. You wanna, you wanna help me with it? Hmm, uh, uh, alright, mate, let's do it. Huh. See that mochi? It ain't that hard. Dude, I was excited for this. I was ready to make a whole 11 minute song about how anything and everything that could go wrong in a TCG game. But Sen was like, no, Mike, let's just keep it short and simple. Why don't we? So we got a four minute song instead. And boy, was I glad that Sen said that to me because I sure as hell did not want to mix an 11 minute song in retrospect. You see why very soon. To summarize my song, it's essentially kind of just a boiling pot of some of my favorite songs. For example, this second section here uses the habanero rhythm, which you might have heard in that French opera. But there's a certain Millie song that comes to mind when we talk about the habanero. All you need to do is type this into the YouTube search bar. It's crazy to me how Millie just straight up owned this name on YouTube. And by the way, that poor guitar player, they might as well have not been there. The guitar is just panned hard left and you can barely hear any of the notes. You just hear the initial attack. Anyways, back to my song. This rock section is almost blatant plagiarism. So if you're an Ito Miku fan, you probably know which song I stole from. For the chorus, I tried to emulate the vibe of Somnium Files final dance song in both sound and lyrics. I had Sen rewrite this part like three times just to get the right amount of cheese in there. Which I should mention, Sen wrote just about all the lyrics. I contributed like five words and I said, you do the rest, bro. <laughs> lyrics is another thing that I don't do often and thus am very not good at. And Sen, you know, he went all out. He put some cheeky TCG reference in there. What an absolute goat. And then there's the pre-chorus. So you know that part in Alice in Music Land where Mako goes like, Normally I would just use the clip, but then I can do a lot of crucial mistake. If I keep origin audio, then I won't be able to dodge copyright. So it's literally just that, except slowed down and in a different key. I, I couldn't believe it actually worked. But there's one part that I didn't steal from anybody in particular. Rap is not the type of music that I actively seek out. When artists I like incorporate rap into their music, I do the usual, uh, yeah, let's go. But that's the extent of my exposure to rap, and Sen is very much on the same boat. So you have two idiots who decided to write a rap song when they've never written rap in their life. And on top of that, they have to rhyme, flow, and be related to Genshin TCG somehow. And we absolutely fucking crushed it. Are you kidding me? Just listen to this. Lotus flower crisp in my deck. It seems it doesn't exist. Oh. I can't begin to describe it, but chaotic entropy should be a crime. Let's go. Okay, my point is that it turned out so, so much better than we expected it to. It would be a lie to say that I wasn't nervous at all because when you think of Genshin and you think of rap, you get. Let's go. Hey, you butterfly. You too. It's literally the darkest day in Genshin music history. All right, so I think I've gone over all the fun parts about writing this song. Let's see, what else is there to talk about? Oh, hey, that was a good take, but it's unusable now because he bumped his mic. Why is the lead vocal in the background track? We started with seven vocal track. Why is it double that number now? And <laughs> why are you not in time and in tune? Vibrato said, Vibrato, control it, please. <sighs> Welcome to the not so fun part about producing this song. Okay, I know I just complained a bunch, but I'm not saying Sen is a bad singer, all right? Let's get that out of the way. You can hear for yourself in the final results later. Just like how you can Photoshop yourself to look a little bit better, there's an equivalent of that in audio, especially for singing. And as technology improves and there are more things you can do with it, even a little bit of imperfection is looked down upon. Even if your ears are not trained to hear those little details, you're so used to listening to your favorite songs, which are already mixed and mastered. So when you hear a recording, Recording that is unprocessed, you might feel like something isn't quite right, even if you don't know what. So a little bit of timing and tuning issues is normal. Even professional singers need a little bit of corrections in post. Unless you have God-given talents and also work at it day in and day out. Oh my 
Yeah, nobody hold themselves to this standard, okay? This is God level singing. And on top of everything, we were recording through Discord, as in I was directing San through Discord. Why? Because the guy lives like a few thousand miles from me. God, why did I just throw? That was early. That was early? Yeah, that was early. Well, let me hear it again. Was it early? I don't know. Maybe that was Discord. Let me see. Now, are you a rusher? Or are you a dragger? Or are you gonna be on my- And long story short, trying to direct someone recording through Discord is not ideal. All that said, it did not change the fact that I still had to go through the entirety of the four minute songs to clean up everything like a janitor at the Bucky's in Texas before I even started mixing the vocals. It's actually a thing for producers to hire assistants to help them with these cleanups. But for this project, it was just me, my lazy ass, and I. So boy, was I glad it was a four minute song instead of an 11 minute one. And you know what's the worst part? I'm gonna have to do this again again because there are songs that i'm writing that have vocals in them hit the like button so my suffering won't be in vain all right now that the song is done we need a video to go with it so far you have sen and i who plays both genshin and tcg so it will only make sense for the video person to also be like that because this is a passion project for the tcg game someone like that can reference the game in the video and maybe even some inside jokes from the gitcg discord server which is perfect and i know just the person to ask nah bro i'm too busy go find somebody else and they said no and now I am one step closer to Bochi. <sighs> I guess I'll just have to settle for the next best thing and find a video editor who at least plays Genshin Impact. Time to hit up Fiverr. Not much to say here since I'm not a video or a graphic expert. Uh, the first person I talked to ghosted me after a little bit, and then I ended up with Ikazuchi. I was involved with the video process about as much as I was involved with the lyrics process, so pretty much hands off. Alright, enough teasing. Not even Jaff watches can handle this much. Here's the music video. Enjoy! Today, but I am not dismayed. My foe made many splendid plays throughout the game. I may have fringed my dice, but life's no paradise. I'll shoulder my defeat going 05 in turn. With all this misery, I know that no one out there hears my plea. I wish your tower would dig a grave for me. So maybe you could have a little empathy. And so I lost the fight. This world will call a side side. If only I had six good dice. There's nothing in this world I wouldn't sacrifice. All those unusable dice, I try to follow the line Stick to the plan, making them doubt their decision Cause maybe you have a depth in your hand Oh no, did they just take a KO? God, why did I just throw? Dodge the reaction, maintain the turn and vanish Praying I won't have to tune, I just gotta break through soon Wanna use the banner for a spot on town, it's the worst Wanna stay away, if only it had lotus flower or crisp In my deck it seems it doesn't exist I can't begin to describe it, but chaotic entropy should be a crime I need a tape by Friday to revive me, cause I feel I'm dying inside Wish that I could say goodbye to all these horrible moments of cringe dice. I hope I will roll it on me dice one day. My opponent seems to get that every time we play. I will persevere, but I can't catch a prey. Was his luck this curse the poison is hard Never punish, but maybe I'll be the one to show them how to play the game. Best 
straddling companion So I just know that we'll be okay When things get tossed up Harsh and rough But come and raise up Leave it to me We'll be free From all this pain Suffering So I'm holding my breath for you to open that door Hold on to my hand So be If you're the rare breed of anime watcher who doesn't skip the ending songs, sometimes you get rewarded with extra scenes, extra content. Well, this is it. I mentioned earlier in the video that I wasn't supposed to be at the tournament, and well, there's a short answer to that. I cheated. According to the rules of the tournament, at least. But to get to that, we have to go all the way back to the prelims. Just like Sen's story, it also happened during the round of 16. But first, I know there are friends and families who are watching this who have never touched Genshin, much less Genshin TCG, so I will give you guys a quick crash course. So everybody know what chess is, yeah? It's similar in many ways. You win by proving that you have a bigger brain than your opponent. In chess, it's checkmate. In TCG, it's trying to take down all of your opponent's card before they do the same thing to you. The difference is that in chess, when you calculate a winning line and follow it, chances are you will win assuming there's no error in your calculation. However, in a Genshin card game, there are elements of randomness in the form of support cards and dice rolling, which you have no control of when you get what. So you can be in a board state where you win 95% of the time, unless your opponent pour out a very specific combination of cards and you just lose. And that should give you a decent idea of what TCG is like. It can be pretty simple on the surface, but at a high level, it does go pretty deep so I can't really go into much detail in such a short time. But I can go into details about my master plan to get into top 8 now that all of that is out of the way. At the time of that tournament, the state of the game was very unbalanced because there was one deck that was dominating the meta and there was no counter to it. So whether you like the deck or not, you have to play it if you want to win. And the strategy was to prepare for a mirror matchup, which means you play this deck while your opponent also plays this deck. So here are the decks I submitted and here are the decks my opponent submitted. Let's go through our first match, shall we? So the strategy to win a mirror matchup, besides having better luck than your opponent, is you snipe one of these characters. You snipe this one and their summoning powerhouse is gone. You snipe this one and their end game single target carry is gone. Now bear in mind, I've played this game for like three weeks at this point, while my opponents have months of experience. So naturally, I got myself into a worse position, losing position even. And yet, Lady Luck smiled upon me and gave me the two cards I needed to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to meet your demise! <laughs> So I'm kind of a toxic winner, as you can see. I never say these things out loud, but I think them. And it's even worse in chess. Don't even get me started. But I bet some of you have noticed that something is a little off. Psych! I bet nobody noticed because nobody did during the time of the tournament. You see, that whole sniping strategy thing, I learned it after I submitted my decks. And why is that important? It's because once you submitted your decks, you cannot change any of your cards. That's just the rules. But as you remember, I pulled that card out once here and once again at that class finish. So in essence, I should have lost that match. There was no way I could have won unless I had that second copy of the card. So to summarize, my master plan to get into top 8 was to sneak in an extra card and hope that I get it exactly when I needed it. Okay, kind of a shitty plan, but it worked! And I couldn't believe that it worked. And after beating my opponent that day, I was just resigned to my fate. I was just waiting for a message from the organizers telling me I'm disqualified because I changed my deck list after I submitted it. But... It never came, and I went to LA to be one of the top 8 finalists. I'm not saying all this like bragging, oh I cheated and got away with it. No, nothing like that. Nor am I trying to justify anything because I broke the rules while knowing that I did so. So what's the point? Am I sorry for all this? Well, not really, because if I could go back in time, I would do it all over again because going to LA was cool as shit. 
And I don't mean LA or the tournament itself. The highlight for me was meeting other people, meeting other weebs who have similar interests as me. And the best thing that could have happened, happened. I met a weeb who was also into music, which is my biggest and most costly hobby. And just to show the scope of how much that meant to me, I work from home, so I don't really have a good motivation or a reason to go out much. And while I do play with local bands in my area, it's mostly just Western and popular music. Well, I'm out here sitting in the corner wanting to play J-Rock anime openings and all that jazz. So if there were to be a point to all this, it would be that the strings of event that led to me writing the song for this video is more amazing than your parents being born, which led to you being born. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to tell the story, an event that happened in my life. Nothing more, nothing less. While in LA, I told them I cheated to get here and they all laughed, but now y'all know I wasn't joking. And before anyone says it, I do not encourage cheating, okay? Whether it's in TCG or in anything. You're in control of your own action and if you get caught, you better damn well be prepared to face the consequence. And who knows? Maybe I'll face a consequence for outing myself with this story. There's still one more thing I need to say, but before that, big thank yous to Sen for your lovely vocals and lyrics. Ikazuchi Sensei for bringing my song to life through your talents with graphics. And my Yoi 2 Factor authentication for some of the clips. And of course, thank you for watching this video. You will find my next song here in about a few months when it comes out.